Hello, everyone. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. And we're coming to you live from the final of the Space Jam LA tournament. This is the third tournament in this series of events that we're, we have been running here at Gold Squadron. Hopefully, you're having a good time. I know I am. And my co-hosts for this round and all of our rounds this weekend have been, has been, sorry. <laughs> Ryan Staniszewski. The one, the only, the child of mm -hmm. Michigan. Staniszewski. Yes. All right, so um, Ryan, we're going to break down these lists in a second. But before we go too far, i got to remind you guys that our final and literally all of our premier event finals for the last like two years have been brought to you guys by uh, Curled Paw Creatives, a great sponsor for us here uh, at GSP. This is that ecosystem. All right, the ecosystem, X-Wing ecosystem. You guys like that acrylic. You want to be ready looking in style for when we can play in person person again go ahead use that coupon code 20 percent off space jam 2020 now ryan let's go ahead and break down these lists so we have bryant francis with the resistance uh running ray with rose freelance slicer finn dead man switch and ray's falcon kind of the heftier ray that most people are familiar with besides the dead man switch uh, Kova, pretty standard fare, Heroic, Leia, R4 Astromech, and ZZ with Heroic, Crackshot, Advanced Optics. On the other side, we have Rodrigo Denkel, uh, who is running uh, two Techno Union Bombers with Plasma Torpedoes, three Discord Missile Vultures with Struts, and then three more strut Strutted Vultures with only the Struts. We have seen... Rodrigo's list win the Texas system open in the hands of Duncan Howard. So we know it is very successful in at least the hyperspace format. Uh, I don't believe it's been this successful in extended just yet. <clears throat> Correct. Um, one of the things I wanted to point out was the opening by Rodrigo. Um, let's go ahead and talk about that. You notice he had he had to start, of course, in a, in a block... That was basically a left or right block. But he's kind of like doing this this setup where he shifts into a column. Why for it? maybe a player who's not aware of what he's doing? What is the, the reason behind uh, this opening? So this is a very common opening for well-versed Separatist players. Uh, the reason behind this is you you can only set up with within a elongated you know on your board edge one one range one forward so you can't set up to start walking up a side of a board edge so to do this and to limit the amount of opportunities the opposing player can help pick off uh straying separatist ships on the fringe of a formation this tightens the formation and resets it to sweep the board from the side mm-hmm too often you'll see uh, per people who aren't as familiar with running swarms or formations larger than four ships end up uh, staying in their formation from their deployment zone too long and not resetting themselves so that they have uh, a smaller footprint uh, extended out to the middle of the board. It's a very common opening <clears throat> Excuse me. Very common opening. We saw Duncan Howard do the same opening. Uh, I've seen Paul Heaver do that opening as well, where you know you can just switch from a a row to a column because swarms swarms tend to have uh, this issue where once they turn, if you stay in that same block formation, you just hard turn everybody, uh, and you end up basically flipping the map. You change the joust lane. Um, mm -hmm. You end up approaching in a column rather than in rows, and what can happen is you have that back, you know, back set of of, uh, of pilots who can't shoot, and that's an ideal situation for for jousting lists who can maybe just pick off the uh, couple of ships who are in that front row. But now with having them now basically a two by four section that's going by you rather than a four by two section, uh, it's a lot more threatening. Of course, that's assuming that they end up engaging at this top down. Uh, angle, Bryant could wait a little longer and try to delay the engagement and try to create that column approach for Rodrigo. Yeah, um, it's it. I 
overall looking at this matchup it definitely favors the separatist player uh ray is a big piece that jousts that has no access to barrel that's a large base that a lot of arcs can start putting real damage on those discord missiles ray cannot get rid of unless she purposely lands uh, uh lands on or lands in front of an obstacle uh which we have seen bryant do uh he rushes through gas clouds pretty well he is not afraid um and also those plasma torpedoes uh these resistance ship ships all have shields uh zz if tagged by one plasma torpedo will end up losing both shields and get halved with one damage um i'm kind of surprised ray isn't trying to go around the long way uh banking instead uh i don't know what that was you can't boost onto an obstacle unless he got coordinated a boost and then did a one straight yes i think that's what it was yeah, because uh, Kova's got that stress. The stress, yep. <clears throat> for anybody who still wants to place their bet and choose your champion, we're going to leave it open for one more turn. Ray's trying to uh, try to see if she can get something at range three and just out of range. Yep, this could be pretty bad. Just out of range tells me all those ships can do hard twos, and there's a solid chance that those, and even our hard threes, if necessary, those Techno Union Bombers in the back should get Plasma Torpedoes. Um, and that big rock off to the right there uh, stops Ray from trying to do um, any uh, three turns or two turns away. One key factor right now is technically ray is going through that cloud again there is that little bit inside of the nub that is still there so we'll have to make yep. sure that uh i believe bryant's probably looking at that right now but that is extremely important that he needs to be aware and knows that there's he is going that, uh... through that gas cloud again and he cannot get coordinated to boost through that So yeah, no boost before moving because you can't boost over an obstacle. So that's why I see yep. a couple people asking, well, you can just boost off it. No, you can't. You can't. Nope. Not today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I no. don't know if I, I... I'm not a big fan of where Ray is right now. It's rough. What's going on here? So there's some confusion. Um... No, he can't boost. He didn't boost onto it. Kova boosted him forward, and then he did a one straight off the dial. Yes. To get on it. He did his maneuver. What the question here right now is... Big thing is, does the two turn from the hyenas get a target lock on array, or is he need is he going to need to do three turns? Kova will probably be coordinating Ray anyway. Um. Ray, while she probably wants to take a target lock to do as much damage as possible, might need to boost. Have to take a focus. Only a one turn. That's gonna leave those hyenas out of range for the the lock. Well, he he could one turn with the back set of four, and then three turn barrel roll in with the front set of four. But he would need to barrel roll the back set as well. just taking the calculate i don't like this he's not going to get the lock on ray for the pro from the plasma torpedoes i mean so he's he's not limiting himself with the stress this turn right he's trying to be a little more open he could barrel roll the back set of four but i also could be setting up the discord lock. missiles as well blue 
green, and teal all have the Discord missiles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's just saving the lock for now, it looks like. Yeah, uh, Johnny, uh, double-check the arrangement of which ships are which in the list. You got the colors right, but the colors are not assigned to the correct ships. The tricky one. He did take a lock on he, the back. Uh, yellow did take a lock on Azizi. Okay. So it could line up that just plasma. What was available in range. Uh, Kova is coordinating a lock to Ray. Mm hmm. Gonna lock blue. Uh, blue has a discord, so if Ray moves forward almost at all, Blue's gonna will have done his job. Yeah, <laughs> because the discords happened Hi. before. Oh, okay. Hello, <laughs> hello there. He does know he's going through the strain, the cloud with the strain. So no strain, because it was a crit. No There's strain. only on hits and focuses. Here's Zizi. So is the the plan here just like I can't bail, so I'm just gonna go go for it. I'm just in. Yeah. This is going to probably decide the tempo and the rest of the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very simply, this turn. Uh, we're going to see a lot of Discord missiles being used right now. That will probably use the three bank. <clears throat> and that will attach to ZZ. But it's going to be forced yep. to go on the back if it doesn't fit on the front. It fits. Oh, it fits. Never mind. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, we'll probably see blue and green both attached to Ray. No reason not to use them now. Yep, you have all the targets in front of you. Blue is the main target. You may as well just use it. Three straight to the front of Ray. Hey, we might actually see that um, Dead Man switch on Ray be relevant. <laughs> Kova end game for me. That's right. It's like, I am. I am the. I'm the bomb now. Yeah. I'd attach the other Discord. Just get it over with. You need to... I mean, we could easily see Ray go to half or just die this turn. Like, she does not have a focus. She just has her force. Um, the best thing to happen would be two, two drones die this turn. Ooh, he's putting oh, it on ZZ. on ZZ. I don't agree with that. Granted, he's got the plasma torpedo that's going to go to ZZ first. But you need to chunk Ray down. Although, you know, two discords on ZZ means a guaranteed half health. This is very true. And if the, if the, if the plasma hits, ZZ dead. Here's Ray's shot. That's pretty good. That's going into blue. Spending the lock. Um... That's just dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many cards is the question? Uh, three. three. Exact amount. Hit, hit, crit. So taking away one shot. <clears throat> Direct hit. Get one of those out of there. ZZ no longer has something to crack shot. Probably just goes range one into blue. As long as blue as in range one, it might be orange. Simultaneous fire for the I-5s. So ZZ would be range one into orange. Or go for more points and go range two into green. Likely not to kill. Right, give me one second. I'm going to go ahead and hide the overlay here for a second. Uh, Johnny? Yeah, I'm, uh, yes. Uh, did you did you hear my comment about the 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 pilots need to be moved around because they're not matching the the upgrades to the colors? Yes, yes, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm working on it right now. All right, cool. Oh, wait, Ray actually killed green, and ZZ has the crack shot on blue right now. Oh, ha-ha. All right, cool. So we'll get the overlay set. Johnny, just let me know, and then I'll bring it back up. 
that's three for, that's three for zz if this this drone is at range three and has pl plenty of calculates necessary uh that's, that's dead that's too dead. Of crack, crack shot. shot oh man oh no shot the discord wait now i'm confused wait what yeah, ZZ shot the Discord off Ray and killed Blue. So we, we were right. It did kill. He did shoot Ray at Blue because uh -huh. he had to spend the lock. And ZZ just shot the Discord off Ray. Um, All I'll right. say I don't agree. You want ships off the board? Hmm. So I believe this is going to be the plasma torpedo here into ZZ. Uh, for hit hit crit, yeah, uh, crits will be negated first. He needs uh, no evade. That's two shields. He can stop shooting ZZ right now. It's the uh, ZZ's dead. That's just dead. So now everyone can shoot at Ray. We'll see if uh, if ZZ's call helps. All these shots going into Ray now. Three from green. Uh, probably spending a calculate. Probably from purple since it's further away. So two into Ray. Uh, Ray's probably adding a blank and spending a force. Take none. Okay, orange into Ray. And that's going to be three uh, after the calculate. Probably three. Spend from himself or from red from himself. Yep. Ray's going to take damage. Uh, can add a blank, but that won't do anything. Uh, Just set up the lock for later. Yeah. And use the force. Spend. Yep, force. Uh, could spend the blank for Rose. She's doing right now. Could use freelance slicer. Maybe try and pull a, a calculate off something. Yep, there's the there's the rose target lock. Nope, just doing it on orange, which is interesting because orange is already shot. This is from Teal. Hit, Hit crit. crit. This uh, is still in Ray's arc, but rolled one. Got the squiggle. We saw him flip the uh, flip the force so that he would add the blank, which would be an evade. They just didn't pull out the dice there. Mm -hmm. Here's another two. Uh, another one. Ray's rolling some pretty good natural defense dice. Down to seven hole. Yep. And this is from pink. Uh, just one. Got it. These are pretty lazy rolls, but hey, whatever works. And from purple, blank skis. Miss. <laughs> Chris from Lancaster. I love I love his comment here. He says, Bryant is going to have to fly like an eagle now. Caw -caw. So, yep. Uh, two crits. ZZ dies. Yep, so the the buzz droids go off there at the end of the turn. He had already lost two shields, so two crits happen, one per buzz droids, and uh, that's how ZZ defeated in one turn. So does do all these drones just one turn? Like, that's the slowest move they have. Get everyone could one turn towards Ray. Most of them be used to block and just generate calculates for a friend. Ray wouldn't be able to Ray if Ray three turns out that way. She would just be facing all those arcs. I'm trying to think if you varied these up at all, if that would help or not. Maybe Teal can do a two bank. All the buzz droids are gone. So Ray no longer has to be concerned about that. 
Just yep. where it is is the issue. Could see another coordinate from Kova. Yeah, we'll get those points fixed in a minute, guys. Wondering, so if he one turns with all of them, and if Ray goes into the one turn, going the opposite direction, can she... How many shots would that mitigate? Might only have three or four of them to shoot. Hey Johnny, can and you that... can you click on the trade the Green Trade Federation drone's name because it accidentally got clicked uh, and it killed it. There it is. All right, cool. Twenty four to forty six. That's the correct score. So I mean. We kind of saw what we would expect if they went, if uh, Bryant went that hard into uh, the drones. Um, one drone was very likely to die between ZZ and Ray shooting it, uh, potentially two, depending on the order of shots. Uh, but then it was very likely Bryant was giving up either half of Ray, uh, maybe all of Ray, depending on how shots may yeah. have incurred or. Uh, as we saw, ZZ and a uh, chunk enough of Ray to where half is very close. Now, now in hindsight, you know, I wonder if we asked Bryant um, if he had another opportunity to approach, would he go slower? Like, do you like you see Kova, Kova's so far out of uh, of the yeah. of the game right now? She can't contribute. You need, I think, you needed all three guns. Have the possibility of clearing like two and a half vultures. You're gonna take some hits, but then you know, depending on who you got left at the end, maybe it's only like a four on two matchup, and these uh, these CIS ships can pop really easily. And I think they would have given a better chance. Of course, the buzz droids are just great tech against Ray. Um, mm -hmm. The only way that she would have been able to get away is if she would have uh, been able to basically uh, bump into somebody off the front, which would then flip the buzz droids behind because they can't be on top of other ships, and then she'd be able to fly or boost away. Um, but yeah, we got to see what happens here. So we're just causing bumps essentially to keep some arcs forward. Um, a one straight would be pretty strong for Ray right now. Be able to maybe pop another ship. Kova's probably going to try and coordinate. There's Dress, this. Yep. So no purple coordinate here because you used the purple uh, Leia ability to get closer. So Ray is changing arc. If it stays in the ship pointing forward, it probably means Ray did not really go anywhere. Uh, he's locking. <clears throat> I think he's explaining to Rodrigo the maneuver and using Leia. Probably target locking a Techno Union bomber. Uh, hard to tell what ship that is, if it's pink or yellow. Ray just tried to do that three turn to the right, which does not fit. Locked pink. Four into pink. Ray has one force. Jeez. And spend the lock for nothing. <clears throat> Pink will get pasted. Yep. Poof. Another ship bites the dust. Had to spread it out. Mm -hmm. Copyright. <laughs> yep. Kova? 
close to having a shot onto Teal. We'll see, depending on the arc here. Our Rage has got to try to survive. Sitting on one force available. Isofane, welcome. Ooh, crap. Triple blank. And I don't think that's a target lock ship. <clears throat> Ray spends rows and moves a target lock to orange. Purple shooting range one into Ray. Hit, hit, crit. Dangerous. One blank. Probably using Ray's ability. Take, mm -hmm. hit, crit. <clears throat> Let's find out what that crit is. Mm hmm. Direct, Direct hit. Down to four, four hole. More to go. And still two shots remaining. It's a range two here. Uh, that's a range two. Unless it's the torpedoes. Ah, yes, torpedo. So Ray will take another damage. Down to three. This nope. is teal, I believe. Oh, does it have a calculate available? Does. Yeah. It's his own antibodies for hit, hit, crit. A blank here does it. Ray is left at one. One hole left. Well, Last attack here. It's got one calculate. Ray needs an evade. And that is Ray. And then Dead Man Switch. Dead Man Switch. Ugh, that's prompt. Dead Man. That's ev every ship except the Techno Union there. So all these guys will get hit with one. Even with that, I highly doubt Kova will be able to make up for that. And then yellow. Uh, plasma torpedo wise, red still has a plasma and in a really good position just to move a one straight and get a lock onto Kova. Got a lot of one turns or two turn barrels and it calculates available to How turn back onto Kova. I have to start each other ship. Uh, no, so Dead Man Switch reads ship, not. Uh, you know, no, it does, droid. doesn't mean remotes, yeah. All right, so it's Kova yeah. versus the world now. Bryant has made it this far. It is his his right to try to fight with Kova. Mm hmm I'm highly expecting Kova to do a hard one and use Leia plus R4 to make that a blue maneuver. And still turn on Kova's ability. So uh Rodrigo can play around that for sure. All right. Yes chat this is only the second engagement this is what happens when two heavyweight jousters just start to really punch each other really really hard Oof. man the the power the power of the buzz droids getting rid of a ship really early obviously hurt because you know what in hindsight uh, getting rid of zz if zz would have gotten that out of there unscathed ZZ is an amazing tool against vultures. 
Just like the the, yeah. the RZ two A wing, really good call by Rodrigo to go ahead and just get rid of that ship right away. Even though uh, it would have been nice to have two of the Buzz droids on Ray, but you you got rid of that tool that just likes to run away and strafe and just does such a great job of range controlling the Vulture droids. Mm hmm. No, definitely. Um, I know in using uh, A wings against. Uh, droid swarms that I I thought Bryant probably should have been a little more cagey with ZZ uh, could have gone to punch really hard with Ray but I think coming in between the gas cloud and the the asteroid to bank in that way was a bit too aggressive and too far in the front of the drones you would have been better served going wide to the corner behind that um, asteroid and force the drones to choose between pointing at Ray or pointing at ZZ but ZZ and Ray ended up in the same location. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know how realistic. Easy on the drones. I don't know how realistic it is, but uh, I know I don't know how much of this game is left. But if we hit that goal of 210 subs by the time we are done, we are going to give away that awesome Trainer X. Uh, sorry, Trainer A Wing painted by Luke Carrington of the Gold Squadron Paincast uh, streams on our channel Thursdays at 6 p.m. Central. If you want to learn how to paint in person or like live painting on models or digitally, you have the opportunity to learn how to do that on the paintcast. Or you just want to hang out, talk about whatever, and just get to see some really awesome X-Wing content get made. Check them out. Yellow is out of... Um plasma torpedoes so could go lock or provide more of the calculating but opting for lock one straight and this one has torpedoes and that lock is on backed up <laughs> no Said thank you no that will be a red maneuver that will turn on kova's ability but will not have any modifications. <laughs> I just got an idea. Oh, whiffs on the attack. Heroic. Average. Natties. <laughs> Natties. All right. Time for the incoming... Barrage will be two on three because of the red maneuver executed. Mm -hmm. Two hits, nope. two. It's a good start. Take heroic to try again. <laughs> heroic. Uh, one plinking away at those shields coming from orange. Can easily spend a single calculate. Evaded. This will be obstructed here. May as well spend it. You never yep. know. Yes, Kova doesn't have any mods available, so you, you can... Well, just the gas cloud. Which still there... nets one damage. There it is. Hit, Hit crit. crit. Another four dice coming in. Oh, takes crit a crit goes through. Oh, then no, that's four. That's four. That's heroic. Ah, okay, so points. safe. Safe. Uh, he couldn't do that. In the chat, in in the in the box below, it says red player rolled four dice and got one eye, and then he rolled again. So it was barely cocked, but the game registered it as an eyeball. So he should be taking that damage. Yeah. So. Chat box shows. Yeah, they undid it. Okay. Yep. Copa took the three damage. They're good. Because it was basically one damage per shot, which led to the three shield. Mm -hmm. 
So do we see Kova trying to reverse most of the rest of this game? I mean, that's your best chance. You don't want to take fire from all of them. Uh... Or you, do we see Kova say, I'm going to go four straight and try and limit the amount of shots I'm going to take because I'm going to run into most of them. We'll have to see here. But uh, could definitely see orange and teal doing three or four straights since those are blue. Uh, might get a combination of some two banks from purple and green. And the Techno Union Bombers could not go four. Uh, they don't want to zoom in too, too quickly. Too quickly. Uh, might just do some ones or twos. Kova dials in four straight because what I as an experience mm -hmm. with a separatist player some of the maneuvers that have ended up netting the best results from my opponent were just taking the fastest straight maneuver you could to run past or at them so that there's less shots and arcs pointing at you because you've gone past a few of them So that four straight might be worth it. Four straight from teal. Expect the same from orange. Two and the three. He might have been concerned about the gas cloud or just varying up the ranges here. Yeah, we got a nice coverage there. So that four straight will not get deep enough into the formation. So Rodrigo covering that well. Not caring about the gas cloud, just pointing an arc forward in this one. through the weight of sheer firepower. I will not go quietly into the night. <laughs> Co Koba does, let's see if Koba did do the four. Two straight, so it relieves the stress. Oh, that will, that will not turn on Koba's ability though. That the, turns it off. This is true, stress is gone though. Yeah, stress is gone. Unless Koba just had two, in there. two, Hit two uh, that shouldn't be four dice. Did he reveal a red? He revealed a two. He revealed a four straight. Oh, okay. So then he that way he could do a straight maneuver. Because he was going to yep. bump anyway. Okay. Cheeky. Instead of spending Leia. That makes sense. Yep. It turns into a white two straight. So it's still revealing a red maneuver. But keeping Leia for modification. Got it. All right. Shots back. Hit. Target lock here from red. Bending the lock. That is range one, so this is a regular That's shot. That's three hits. Four. Uh, Leia spent. It'll be yep. one. Can you imagine what this scene looks like in like a movie? The dramatic music that's happening right now. Like you know, Kova's gonna die, and you get to you just you have to watch. You just can't look I mean, away. This is just like the Tie Fighters hunting down the ships trying to flee to crate 
in Last Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, that's three. This is the scene where Leia doesn't make it. Purple. Uh, may as well. Gas cloud safe. It's left. Ah, Kova did live. So could see a combination of um, purposeful bumps on Rodrigo's part. Uh, orange could like purple could one turn into Kova. Orange could try and one, like, purple one turns left, orange one turns right, orange ends up staying there. Both Techno Union Bombers just do one straight, and uh, green also does a one hard towards Kova. Yep. And if Kova does anything other than a fast move that won't give Kova shots, then Rodrigo will just light it up, maybe unmodded, but all your arcs are pointed there. Teal? Could probably do a one turn behind Kova mm -hmm. and prevent some of those one bank reverses. I, I don't think you can. I don't know. You can make a white. Uh, I, you know what? I think if I'm Kova, I just YOLO four straight onto the buzz droid and just go out on my own. <laughs> <laughs> my decision. <laughs> my decision. I choose death by buzz droid. That is a big factor. Uh, that four straight is not active right now if he actually does want to live. That is correct. want to remind you guys that we do have giveaways happening after this round. We'll do a couple of closing ceremony thingamajigs. And then we'll call it. Remember, we do have weekly content here on Gold Squadron. Mondays is our podcast starting at 9.30 Central. Join us so that you guys can be part of the discussion. Wednesday night... It's really more like Wednesday afternoons right now, starting at like 3.30 to like 8. We have uh, League Night. We have a bunch of just – we just play games, having some fun. Uh, those are the days where Dion usually gets to play. Sometimes I have other people play, but uh, it's my chance to play some X-Wing. Then Thursdays, we have the Gold Squadron Paintcast. Next weekend, we have Space Jam Sydney. Now, that's going to be on, on an Australian – time zone so go ahead if you want to check when things are actually going to be happening for you look uh type in a time zone converter 10 a.m sydney time on a saturday for most of you guys it's going to be starting at friday night if you're in the u.s friday night is when space jam starts for you um and then the following Saturday, we're actually going to do another iteration of our Gold Squadron build cast where we build Star Wars Legos. We did our first session where we're working on that collector series A-Wing uh, where we just kind of hang out and, uh, and build some Legos and give some stuff away as well. Bryant is going out bravely. He's like, you know what? I'm no chump. I'm taking this <laughs> to the bitter end. No offense to I people who can see. It's fine. <laughs> it, it in my head, like he's like, I'm taking this to the bitter end, and then Koba just backs up with the next maneuver. It's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what that's what that green move is. There is just covering the the backing ups. Like, no, no, no. If you if you reverse, I'm gonna shoot you. Yeah. I still think teal. Uh, I mean, teal could do a talon. At least it would point the arc that way. Yep, there's the purposeful bump with the Techno Union. Probably see the same thing with red. Just a K there's turn. There's a K. Run, Kova. Run. Providing some calculate back there. Just a little bit of modification help. Didn't bump. Gets an action, probably calculating, provides some network calculation help. Mm -hmm. Red, while red, while red does still have both plasma torpedoes, it 
probably doesn't matter that much anymore. One thing that we but do have to lock anyway. talk about here, Ryan, because, um, I mean, we are fairly certain that Rodrigo is taking this. This means that he will be undefeated in Space Jam LA. Oh, dang. I'm pretty sure if I'm right about that. Yeah, he was 8-0, and and this would be the ninth win. Koba and tried to do a one turn to the left. Uh, has R4, which makes it white. Decides not to use Leia. And keeps the modification from the Force. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe he is a player out of Brazil. He's part of the Brazilian community. So 9-0, our LA champion, will be from Brazil. Nice. Kova looks like for two into the Techno Union yellow. Do we have Brazil in the chat? I saw some people's uh, with Brazil calling out for sure. All right. Kova's got two incoming shots. Both are going to be three dice. Both backed up. Well, one of them can be backed up by a uh, calculate. <laughs> Three. Uh, don't know what the re-roll. Oh, there's a second target lock on there from the other Techno Union. All right. This means a dead Kova. Heroic. Hit crit. That'll do it. All right. Well, congratulations to Rodrigo, our Space Jam LA champion. Please clap. Please clap. Good game. Good game. We end with a final score, which I'm going to go ahead and put in now. 200 for Rodrigo and 44 for Bryant. Well played by both players. And yes, I'm sorry. He would be going uh, not 9-0, 10-0 with, uh, with this squad. Absolutely amazing run. Congratulations. Well-deserved. Absolutely well-deserved.